Non-native species have a number of pathways to move around the world and they typically move between areas with similar climate. So for example those that we find in Wales and in Britain are often native in their homeland in for example Japan or the northeast Pacific Ocean. One of the ways that they can travel is through ballast water. This is the water that large vessels carry within their hulls to stabilise those ships when they're crossing the ocean. So they pick up this water at one part of the, in the world and then they move wholesale across the ocean and then that water is emptied out as that vessel then takes on cargo. This allows all sorts of uh, creatures, plankton and small juveniles and so on, to move across the ocean unhindered. Those can then settle out in that new uh, environment and become uh, an invasive non-native species. Another way of transporting themselves would be as a sort of contaminant, if you like, on um, aquaculture species. So for example, the Pacific oyster. And there are a number of uh, non-native species that were travelled with those Pacific oysters. One of those is the American slipper limpet. And there are also some seaweeds which we think perhaps travel with those uh, oyster shells. Another pathway for these animals particularly, but some of the plants also, is through attachment to the bottoms of perhaps recreational yachts or smaller vessels. They travel quickly from place to place. And if the uh, animals or plants then recruit, where they reproduce when they've moved to another port, then they'll settle in that port and become a, a nuisance in that area.